Hey there, little guy. We're gonna call you Sting. What's up, watchers? I'm C.T. Reese, and I'm getting ready to go see the first of two spider-themed horror movies coming out this spring. That's right, I'm talking about Sting. And apparently, Sting is the story of what happens when 12-year-old Charlotte raises an alien spider that turns out to be a real flesh-eating monster. The Sting was directed by Kaya Roach Turner. His directorial efforts include the Wormwood movies and Necrotronic. I've caught those on streaming personally, and having seen those movies, the tone's pretty wild. I expect a lot of humor, uh, some seriously intense action scenes, probably some crazy gore effects will be included as well. There's a very uh, Australian tone, I would say, to all of those movies. I don't know how much that's going to carry over to this one just because it's you know, straight to theaters. It's definitely made for more of an international audience as opposed to, I think, his previous efforts, which were, you know, ended up here on streaming, but I think maybe were originally just made for Australia. And I'm less familiar with the cast of Sting. I know young protagonist Delilah Brown was in the 2020 Children of the Corn remake. Uh, I saw Jermaine Fowler's in the cast. He's mostly known for his comedic roles, but he was in the horror comedy The Blackening and the super weird sci-fi movie uh, Sorry to Bother You. That one was Awesome, in my opinion, by the way. Uh, there's also Penelope Mitchell, who's pretty active on TV. It looks like she was in The Vampire Diaries and Hemlock Grove and the recent Star Trek Picard series. But it doesn't look like there's much of a horror background elsewhere in the cast. But I will say I have enjoyed the director's other efforts, so I'm expecting kind of like an arachnophobia turned up to 20, just make it even more ridiculous. Um, I'm also expecting a lot of cheese maybe to the level of schlock. We'll see. I don't think this movie is going to be for everyone. The, just the tone of the director's previous works. I thought they were funny. I enjoyed them. But as I was watching them, they're not the kind of movies that I recommend to necessarily everyone. So I sort of have that expectation going in here as well. I think I'll personally enjoy it, but I'm not sure if I'll be coming back here and recommending it to everyone. So with those expectations set, I'm going to go check out Sting. Stick around and I'll be right back to let you know what I thought of it. Well, that was a movie I went to see. Uh, the tone of this one was really all over the place. I was expecting cheese and maybe schlock and I didn't really get that at all. It was actually more of a seriously toned movie. I'd even say it was mean at certain points. I'm pretty sure they put some animals in this movie just to have more things for the spider to kill because they didn't want to kill off so many of the characters in the movie. It was just sort of off-putting, to be perfectly honest. Um, the movie is seemingly about the relationship between uh, young Charlotte and her stepdad, Ethan. It didn't really work for me. I understand what they were trying to do. It just didn't land for me personally. I just felt like most of the characters were really unlikable and were pretty dickish to each other. Like, everyone was just mean to everyone else in this movie for no reason like the, the the daughter's just asked to do fairly simple things like watch the six month old baby for a few minutes of time she's a jerk about it and the stepdad in this situation he's sort of pulling double duty he's the super for the apartment building since it's owned by his wife heather's family it seemingly her aunt and mother live upstairs uh the mother has dementia the aunt is again just really mean throughout throughout really the whole movie. Um, that's, I guess, the common theme is just everyone in this movie is sort of mean to each other, except for sometimes the stepdad, uh, Ethan, and, and daughter, Heather. They are the only ones that are nice to each other, really, at any point in this movie, it seems like. And regarding the spider attacks, most of the time, Sting is really doing his dirty business off screen, so you don't get to see a lot of it outside of one or two scenes that they definitely put more effort into to kind of show you what was going on. Um, there's one kill in particular that's of a side character that's really pretty brutal. That's the only time in the movie, though, I would say that you really get to see the anti upped and the gore and, you know, some real wild stuff happening with the spider. It's really just that one scene sort of in the middle of the movie. And I almost feel like that scene is in the middle of the movie just so you can hold your attention. Um, the first five minutes of this movie are great. It starts out really quickly. It, it got me invested. And then it just dragged through most of the middle of the movie. And it didn't really pick up until maybe the last 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the Jermaine Fowler character didn't have a ton of screen time. And again, that, that may have affected the comedy of it. He was certainly supposed to be the comic relief in the movie. But it was almost like when 
they inserted him into the movie, that wasn't an appropriate time for comedy. The movie had already established itself as more of a serious deal, and then you're injecting this comedy into it. It just didn't seem appropriate at that point. So, as I said, the tone was all over the place in this one, and it just made it very difficult to know how to approach it. And with that being said, I still like the premise of the movie. I just wish they could have been more consistent with it or done something different with it. I enjoyed the tone of the director's earlier efforts. I expressed some concern that maybe they wouldn't translate to a larger audience, but I think that would have translated better than, than what we got here. It was almost like the, the director was trying to tone himself down and he just toned himself down way too much to the point where it just wasn't all that entertaining. And a killer alien spider loose in an apartment, that is an entertaining sounding and fairly ridiculous concept. And there's nothing wrong with leaning into that. So I, I think that that's really my problem here is it didn't lean into the fun concept. It tried to do something totally different and, in my opinion, did not succeed. Now, that being said, the effects that we did get to see in this movie really pretty good. Uh, the CGI and the practical effects, they mixed really well. I would even say at a lot of points, it's hard to tell what's CGI and what is practical. And that's just down to the director knowing how to film a movie well. So, you know, technically done very well. It's just the story I'm not into on this one and the tone I'm not into. So as far as how the movie was shot, technically very well done. And again, I think the effects were very well done. I just would have liked to have seen more of that. So, you know, a more consistent tone, show me some more effects, show me some more kills. Uh, that would have made a much more solid movie for me personally. So if you couldn't tell, this one did not meet my expectations. I'd say it's probably best saved for streaming for most people if you want to check this out. If you're really into spider horror, Honestly, you can just wait till the end of the month. On April 26th, the French-made Infested is hitting Shudder, and that one also features an apartment building. This time it's filled with deadly and rapidly reproducing spiders. So we're, we're ditching the one giant alien spider uh, in exchange for a ton of normal deadly spiders. Either way, similar concept. I'm hoping I have more fun with that one than I had with this one. And, you know... That's okay, because you can't like them all, but I'll keep checking them out, and I'll let you know which ones are worth your time. And if you enjoyed this review, please make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. I'm really just getting this channel off the ground, and your support will help a ton. So thanks again, and we'll see y'all next time.